poorly, and I also felt that uh, we needed to impress on broadcasters that this great gift, this precious gift of a license to use the public airwaves, an exclusive license given to them with no charge for nothing, that in exchange for that, we had to insist that public service be provided as well. And I thought that message needed to be made loud and clear, and that's why I did it. Okay, well, loud and clear it was, and it is. So you went there to advise these broadcasters to serve the public interest. We have a clip of that speech that I'd like to play. And I'd like you all to close your eyes and imagine that you were there 50 years ago today. It, the National Association of Broadcasters and these network presidents were a power source to be reckoned with. They had this exploding new technology, this incredible reach, and this 35-year-old chairman of the FCC gets up and says this. If you have the clip, let it run. When television is good, nothing, not the theater, not the magazines or newspapers, nothing is better. But when television is bad, nothing is worse. I invite each of you to sit down in front of your own television set when your station goes on the air and stay there for a day without a book, without a magazine, without a newspaper, without a profit and loss sheet or a rating book to distract you. Keep your eyes glued to that set until the station signs off. I can assure you that what you will observe is a vast wasteland. A vast wasteland. Now, you were going to say, initially, in your first draft, it said, a vast wasteland of... Junk. <laughs> <laughs> why, the <laughs> why the edit? Well, it seemed to me uh, an improvement to the late uh, of junk. And actually, I paid very little attention uh, to those words. Our general counsel, Henry Geller, who is here tonight, kept telling me to take those two words out. Of junk or vast wasteland? <laughs> no, vast wasteland. And uh, uh, I thought there was a, I don't know if it was T.S. Eliot or what, but I thought it had a little class. And so, <laughs> but the two words I wanted to be remembered were not vast wasteland. The two words I wanted to be remembered were public interest. And was the vast wasteland soundbite, which wasn't called a soundbite at the time, the, those two words, were those the words that galloped away from the event? Yes, I think the press, uh, I've learned later, uh, the press likes to fasten on something controversial. Uh, or whatever some, gives you that. <laughs> <idea>. <laughs> if there's controversy, the press will love it. And they saw this as a controversial thing and uh, th that led to a, what I wanted was a debate in the country, and uh, certainly that started it. Would you do?